Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial today. Um, today we will be learning how to use Nessus to detect log 4 shell vulnerability on a system. So Nessus is a vulnerability scanner uh, that can be used to scan devices on your network to see if they're vulnerable to several vulnerabilities that are known so today i'm going to be showing you how to use nessus to be able to detect block for shell in your environment so we will be using nessus essentials which is a free version um, this should be the same with the nessus professional which is the paid it's the same as nessus essentials but it's the paid version so I'm just going to go in here and input my password. Okay. We have logged into our Nessus. You want to make sure you go onto settings and go ahead and manually update your Nessus scanner. So you want to go on here and manually do a software update of everything reason be it because since log 4 shell is new you literally have to get updates so you can get the new plugin that we're going to use for this scan so once you get that done you're going to go to scans and we'll create a new scan and at this point you're going to scroll down to the end of the page and you can see here that we have the log for shell, log for shell apache um, plugin and we also have um, the log for shell remote checks or log for shell vulnerability ecosystem so in order for us to create the scan we're going to use the log for shell and once you do that you give it a name so I can call this log for shell born and you can give a nice description and the next thing you need to do is input the IP address of the devices you want to scan so you just have to follow this format if you have multiple devices you just use a comma and you keep adding adding or if you want to input a subnet we can go ahead and input the whole 24 subnet and once we do that we're going to go ahead and go to plugins and as you can see here it's using four plugins which are the four apache log 4j vulnerability plugins okay once we do that, we're going to hit save. And at this point, the only thing you need to do is hit the launch button. And we're going to wait for the scan to complete. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. And once the scan has been completed, I'm going to come back. So now that the scan has been completed, uh, we're going to click on the scan and as we can see here these are all the hosts that were scanned for the log 4 shell vulnerability okay um if you go into vulnerabilities we're going to see four it says we have four vulnerabilities at this point i have no devices in my network that are vulnerable to the log 4 shell vulnerability so we didn't find anything if it did find a vulnerability for log 4 shell that information will be in here and a lot of times nessus will give you information on how to fix the problem and it's going to give you all this information on what the vulnerability does and all that good stuff okay so this brings us to the end of this video this it's pretty straightforward 
and that is how you can go ahead and use Nexus and scan devices in your network to see if any is vulnerable to this Apache Log4 shell vulnerability. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, you can also leave a question at the comment section below.